And then on this uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon hearing that's happening on Capitol Hill, uh, David Grush, who sat on a U.S. Air Force panel on UAPs, he says that he was informed of a UAP crash retrieval and reverse en engineering program based on interviewing 40 witnesses over four years. Does such a program exist, and do you believe that the American people deserve to know if it does? I have no information on that uh, to provide for you today, one way or the other. I would just say what I said la last week when I got asked about this. Uh, we obviously take uh, the issue of uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon seriously. There's a whole office at the Pentagon that has stood up to analyze the data, collect reports, collate those reports, and forward them up appropriately. Uh, and that's, I think, testament to the fact that, uh, that we know that uh, in some cases, uh, these phenomena have impacted military training, have then impacted military readiness. But these, this hearing today does seem to have brought this issue to kind of a new level of public consciousness. And so I wonder if, if the president believes that these claims warrant further investigation. Do you guys see some of these claims and allegations as, as credible? If the president didn't believe that the sightings by pilots were serious enough to be, to be considered, he wouldn't have wanted the Pentagon to stand up an office to, to look at this, to analyze the data, to collect reports, to provide a system by which uh, we can collate the information and better figure out what we've got here. But that work's ongoing. Uh, so if, if, you're, if your question is, uh, you know, we, do we think we need to be transparent with the American people, of course we, we, we need to be as transparent as we can be. But the truth is, Jeremy, we don't have hard and fast answers on these things. We are trying to get smarter on it. Yeah,